Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. Tigers are the largest of all the living cats. Over the course of two million years, nature fine-tuned them as master predators. Hunting alone, a tiger can take down prey four times its own size. But that doesn't mean it's the most vicious animal out in the wild. While they're definitely strong, some animals can still defeat a tiger in a duel. Let's have a look at 10 animals that can defeat a tiger. The animal at number one is actually known to kill tigers, so stay tuned for that. Number 10, the Indian Guar. The guar is a big relative of the cow and is the largest known wild cattle on the planet. In fact, they are bigger than bison, water buffalo, and the cape buffalo. They are found in South Asia and are particularly vulnerable. As they are the heaviest and most powerful of all the wild cattle, they hold a special place in the wild. This beast is known to be a tiger's favorite type of meat, but it's not easy to kill a guar. The male of this species are extremely muscular and powerful, able to generate enough power to be deadly to predators, humans, and other domestic cattle that are unfortunate enough to provoke them. These muscle-bound beasts, which look like they are on steroids, are three to four four times heavier than the tiger. Their menacing horns can lethally impale a tiger, and a well-placed kick can shatter its skull. There have been many cases of guar flooring tigers in India, and we all know a disabled tiger is as good as dead in the merciless jungle. Its certain fate is starvation to death, as it can no longer hunt. Number 9. Crocodile Like tigers are the biggest predators in the jungle, the crocodile is the most ruthless predator in the water. So, who would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight with each other? You might not believe it, but the winner would be the crocodile. Crocodiles rely on the initial bite to grab onto their prey, and if it's able to, it's game over for the tiger. Crocodiles have a very strong jaw and more teeth. So, they win in terms of bite force. The Nile crocodile has a top bite force of 5,000 psi, pounds per square inch, which is perhaps the highest actual bite force ever recorded, compared to the tiger's measly 1,000 psi. Crocodiles usually devour their prey by using the death roll to deteriorate them, which is why they grab the prey, spin it around to tear its flesh off, and then eat it. It'll do this until you're gone. Researchers believe that the crocodile would be no match on the land, but in water, there's very little chance of a tiger victory. An incident happened at night in Calcutta, India, in which a crocodile and a tiger fought overnight. It was a massive fight between the two powerful predators, and could end up only when one had been killed. As daylight broke, the crocodile emerged with victory. Number 8. Grizzly Bear If there's one land animal that can take on a tiger head-on, it's the bear. Both the tiger and the bear are the undisputed lords of their respective habitats. We all know tigers prey on large animals, deer, moose, and wild boars, and yes, bears. The later amount accounts for 5% of all main courses on the tiger's menu, but those are the innocent Himalayan bears. When it comes to the grizzly bear, it's a whole different ball game. Grizzly bears are giant beasts with great physical strength. They are a smaller species of the brown bear, native to the jungles of North America. The grizzly bear sits on top of the food chain. They get their name from their white-tipped or grizzled fur. When compared to tigers, grizzly bears definitely have the advantage of size. They are bigger and heavier. They have strong paws that can do good damage to their opponent. Their body fat also keeps them safe from enemy blows. The tiger has skills and speed. So so it surely would be an intense battle. My money is on the big bear. What about you? Number 7. Lion Lions and tigers are among the most ferocious animals, but there are important differences between them. They are both among the five big cats and are apex predators, meaning they reside at the top of the food chain. Lions are usually social compared to other cats. It is one of the most widely recognized animal symbols in the human culture and in wildlife. But can it defeat its relative, the tiger, in a match? Most researchers believe so. In the wild, the lion is the most prideful animal, and that is the advantage it has on the tiger. The lion would most certainly fight till its last breath. 
It is also bigger than the tiger, so out in the wild, the tiger mostly has no chance. Number 7. Rhinoceros Even though these two animals are very less likely to fight each other because of the fact that they literally live on different continents, it's still believed that a tiger would never be able to defeat an adult rhino. The main advantage this beast has is his tough skin. Even though both are very formidable, but the rhino only has to catch the tiger once. The tiger would have to tire out the rhino and attack it for a while. If the rhino is healthy and of the sufficient size, size and mass, with a horn at some point the tiger will get killed or badly injured. But the tiger's advantage, the rhino is a very peaceful animal and doesn't start fights randomly like a drunk guy in a bar after midnight. I can't say the same thing for tigers. Number 5. Moose The moose, or Eurasian elk, is the largest extant species of the deer family. Moose are distinguished by the palmate antlers of the males. They typically inhabit boreal and mixed deciduous forests of the northern hemisphere in temperate to subarctic climates. On average, an adult moose stands 1.8 to 2.1 meters tall, 6 to 7 feet high at the shoulders, and can weigh 850 to 1,580 pounds, or 380 to 720 kilograms. Siberian tigers are among the biggest predators in the world and are known to fight often with moose. Normally you would think that a tiger would have no problem devouring a moose, but that isn't always the case. The moose is fighting for its life. So then given everything to survive, a kick from a moose can badly injure a tiger, and there have been cases of such incidents. Number 4. Water Buffalo the water buffalo is a large bovine animal frequently used as livestock. They are larger and heavier than domestic buffalo and weigh from 1,300 to 2,600 pounds, 600 to 1,200 kilograms. The largest recorded horns are just under 2 meters long. In Asia, the water buffalo and the Bengal tigers are known to be sworn enemies. There used to be an event in Bangladesh where a tiger and water buffalo were made to fit in a pit. It was the buffalo who nearly always emerged the victim. Victor. Although the tiger was ferocious to the extreme, he had no staying power, and after receiving a few horns from this stronger assaultant, he would collapse in the center of the arena. And this is also the case in the wild, mostly. And if the tiger starts a fight with more than one buffalo, then it's over for the wildcat. Number 3. Elephant Elephants are the largest land animals and one of the most unique mammals with their distinctive long trunks, large limp ears, and wide and wide thick legs. They are the real kings of the jungle, but because of their non-predatory nature and peaceful lives, they are not known to be vicious. But when an elephant is provoked, know that it will definitely defend itself and its family, even if that means killing the predator. Tigers often mess around with elephants. They are known to attack their prey by holding from their forelimbs and biting the neck of its victim. But the elephant is always bigger than a tiger. It is not possible for a tiger to take down an elephant. The threatening tusks of the elephant can stab a tiger, a kick from an elephant can break its bones and crush the skull of the tiger. The only possible reason for a fight between a tiger and an elephant is when a tiger attacks the calf of an elephant for food, and even then the adult elephant would do anything to fight the wild cat. Number 2. Hippopotamus Did you know hippopotamus is Greek for river horse? The animal has been known since ancient times. Hippopotamus are often seen basking in the banks or sleeping in the waters of rivers, lakes, and swamps next to the grasslands. The hippo is a bulky body on stumpy legs, an enormous head, a short tail, and four toes on each foot. The body is so dense that it can walk under water, where they can hold their breath for five minutes. In a fight between a hippo and a tiger, usually the hippo is victorious. It has all of the physical advantages over the tiger, as tigers usually hunt alone and may weigh 500 pounds, or 225 kilograms, as compared to the hippo, weighing a staggering 4,000 pounds, or 1,800 kilograms. The tiger might be able to scratch the hippo up some, but it's not likely to do much damage. Accounts recording the number of human deaths per year by hippo attacks range from about 500 to 3,000. Number 1. Porcupine Tigers can bring down wildebeests and giraffes, but when they try to hunt porcupines, the spiky rodents often come out on top. When the tiger makes the mistake of attacking a porcupine, the porcupine's spine can seriously injure the tiger. 
These injuries can make it impossible for the tiger to hunt normally, leading them to hunt livestock or even humans. A tiger was once killed when one of the spines ended up in its tongue. Not only the tiger, but the porcupine can also defeat the other wild cats, like the leopard and the lion. What a magnificent creature is that, right? Which one of these animals do you think a tiger would be able to defeat? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.